Welcome back to Blood to the Chosen. Last time we crossed a bridge named for a sexual deviant from an 80s horror movie. Surprisingly, very little sewer trawling was involved. Security checkpoint. Oh, damn, I guess I'm foiled. I'll have to turn back. <laughs> Today, we're continuing on our way to Cavalco's headquarters. This time, the obstacle is a security checkpoint filled with fanatics. They're a bit more heavily armed than normal. I think this is the first time we've seen a fanatic with a Tesla gun since the Center for Disease Management. Medkit's making itself incredibly useful again, though the fact that I need it at all makes that kind of a mixed blessing. Profits are going to become noticeably more common from this point on as well. Hopefully we don't see any more with sniper rifles. Hopefully. Sorry, Colonel. Take the elevator down and wear the checkpoint proper. Or just some attached barracks, I don't know. Close quarters. Shotguns and the death ray get their chance to shine here. Our objective for the moment is that elevator through the glass. The door to it is locked, but fortunately the console for that is less than 20 feet away. Uh, whoops. There we go. Derp. Oh, there's no one here. Good thing the actual button didn't go up with all the monitors. I like having the ability to shoot around corners, but sometimes I swear they just pass through enemies on the rebound. And of course, sometimes they rebound into me. Anyway, the way we need to go is clear, but what good is breaking into a Cabalco stronghold if you're not going to loot the place of everything valuable? Wow, with such spacious accommodations, perhaps I should seek employment here. There's various posters in the rooms, those for other monolith games we've seen before alongside various movie posters. The names attached to the rooms are much less interesting. Anyway, we'll head down this way now. Infirmary, though more like a morgue when Cabalco and Caleb are involved. You could jib the corpses here, but much like the mummies from a few levels ago, none of them give anything for the effort. I'll get to you in a minute, asshole. Anyway, the centerpiece of this part of the level is right in here. Oh yeah, we're grabbing that. What a waste of good ammunition. Let's just rearrange some inventory slots again. Mac 10s, you've done your part. Flare guns, you're promoted to slot two. Good, bad. I'm the guy with the gun. 
This is the final stop in the evolution of our basic bullet firing weapons, the Vulcan Cannon. It doesn't have fancy secondary fire modes to make it faster or more accurate or more explodey. It spins up and then spits out lead faster than anything before it. The upside is this makes it more powerful than even the M16. The downside is there's a delay both before and after firing, and it chews through ammo in a quarter of the time. And ammo is going to be a bit harder to get now that we don't have the submachine guns, but I think I can manage. Access denied. Well, I think we have an idea where the next destination is. Let's go back to that elevator. Of course, there's one more door to check out first. Oh, I think we found the good colonel. Hmm. You can't take me. Put a bullet in your head and do us both a favor. Oh, right. Jumping in this game is weird. Hold still. It will be Mother all over soon Go through the window. Hold still. Are you fucking joking? Soon enough. Well, it's better if you see what's in there anyway. Yes, that is a desk that fucking exploded. No, I don't know why. At least the colonel gave us a life seat for wasting my C4. Now we head to the elevator. You will die as the actual checkpoint's been repopulated, just in time to turn away a band of shikari looking for people to murder. <sighs> Fine work, boys. You make Kabalko proud. Now, for some reason, corpses seem to be particularly bulletproof in cases like these. I can pour all my bullets into a corpse here, trying to shoot over the corner, and it will steadfastly absorb every single one instead of just letting me kill the Shikari on the other side. Love American style. In the other room, we find a key card. Back to the offices and hallways to put it to use. I see about taking the elevator. I'm not falling for that. Make the hurting stop. I guess I should have seen that coming, but still. Damn. Huh, I think the game did in fact expect me to drop down that elevator shaft and break my legs. Come out. We'll be having none of that talk. We call it Resident Evil here. Any week. Victims? Aren't we all? You look better. Seriously? Much. Wait, what? Well, after that annoyance, we're at the end of the level. Next time we visit a temple, scrunch up an offering for the money box.